So in here, <coughs> the four brand new Rogue Alloy CC ones with the 245 75R16 BF Goodridge tire ready to go. We have the lift kit uh, ready to be fitted and there are all the bolts and stuff like that, locking nuts for the, the wheels and tires. So they will all be going on today along with this three inch lift kit supplied by mule vans. We're having the lift kit fitted, so just dropped the van off. Uh, it's gonna be in all day until about five o'clock. Uh, we had a van yesterday uh, lifted as well. That was back about five. Um, so my wheels are in here. They're gonna kindly fit them for me. They're obviously gonna do the lift kit and uh, everything else. So fingers crossed it should look a beast by the time it comes back. Uh, not gonna be able to film the process for you guys and all that sort of stuff. That's how it is, I'm afraid obviously it's a workshop mechanics they're going to strip everything out uh, all the subframe all that sort of stuff so me getting in the way of filming is just going to be uh, not right for them leave these guys to get some work so hopefully by five o'clock tonight we'll have a, a bit of footage for you of the van with its lift so we'll see you in a bit so these are coming off goodbye old steelies and this will be up here probably <laughs> Quite later, you know, it's gonna be massive. Uh, they're standard 
size 16 inch alloys supplied by Rogue Alloy. Um, however, on a standard van without a lift kit, you can go 225, 75 R16, but with the lift kit, you can put a 245, 75 R16. So there's enough room around the edges with the lift and all that sort of stuff. And it gives with the lift overall five inches of lift. Right, this is your front uh, tool wall spring. So what it has to do, you've got your uh, your deeper deeper section here, and another section at the top. So you've got to feed it in, feed it in, into your spring here, which is pretty easy. Just slide it round like that, pushing. Pushing your thumbs up, kneading it in, like that. Till it's like that. Yeah. It's as easy as that. But this part here is called a sumo spring. And this, uh, kindly donated by a friend who is no longer going to use them, uh, slides into the spring and adds that little bit of extra cushioning between the spring uh, for the more overland look and all that sort of stuff. So their front uh, sumo springs, so they're all fitted. Uh, they're good to go now. So hopefully gonna make a massive difference to the van while driving. We shall see. Which are rear sumo springs. These are the heavy duty version, uh, up to a payload of 1250 kg, I believe it is. Uh, again, kindly donated by a friend who wasn't using it. These are not cheap by the way. So these replace the original bump stops, which are probably about three quarters to a half of this size. So these will go on the rears. I did try and do them today at work, but um, the wheels, I haven't got a breaker to get the bolts off the, the rear wheels. So I, I had jacked it up to try and fit these, but uh, that's gonna have to be done by someone else or I'll order a breaker. But uh, that will make a massive difference. Again, for the overland look and all that sort of stuff. So when we're in Scotland or wherever, uh, I'll make a massive difference. So hopefully we'll get them done soon. Uh, I want to try and get them done soon because I'm off to Scotland for a week to go and explore, which is going to be pretty cool. Pretty cool. Uh, other little things. I've just had to do a tweak of the handbrake cable underneath the van uh, after it had the lift kit fitted. Uh, just became a little bit loose because I had rear discs and new pads all on the back so they've probably bedded in the cable came a bit loose so tighten that up today what else have we got coming uh, up here I had some old tiling skirt above the door so all I've done is bought some aluminium J channel so I'm going to take that off clean that up get this J channel cut to the right size get it powder coated seal that and then taper screw it on so that adds a proper more clean um rain gutter above the side door and then the final part obviously wouldn't be packed around and go without i've been sent this this 4k drone so i am going to go to scotland and give this bad boy a run a run for its money that's archie agreeing with me so we're gonna take that drone to Scotland. We're gonna give it a go. Uh, I'll give an honest feedback and review while I'm up in Scotland. I wanna get some driving pictures of the van. Ignore the seagull shit on the back of the van. And ignore the side panels where they've been sanded. The side panels here. These, at some stage, uh, not before Scotland, will be uh, Raptor painted. Just these panels here both sides and then possibly where the where's my arm down here these side skirts may be wrapped to the bottoms as well i've got the paint i've got the thinners it's got a paint gun i just need the time but yeah we're slowly getting there anyway hope you enjoy the lift kit hope you enjoy the sumo springs uh so on my suspension basically um all that I've had the lift kit by Mule, which has given me three inches. I've had the bigger 
tires 245 75 r16 bf goodrich tires with a rogue alloy cc1 uh, wheel uh, which is then given overall about five inches of lift uh, we're having the sumo springs which we've done to the front we're having sumo springs to the rear uh, we have double leaf springs already uh, on the back of the boob van already got them in place and then one final job to do you can't see them uh, the shocks there uh, we're going to replace them with a more more heavy duty type shock for overlanding Archie agrees again so yeah there we go thanks for watching don't forget to like subscribe and we'll see you in Scotland soon take care bye bye